welcome back to a new video Ooh. oh my god i'm driving this giant truck and sometimes it just makes weird noises and i have like no idea where it's coming from but yeah i'm back in la and i'm actually flying back to new york again tomorrow i'm really going like back and forward i have a shoot for bloomingdale's this is like a beauty jewelry shoot which will be very nice so i'm just gonna do a little bit of preparations today and i kind of wanted to show you what i do 24 hours before i also got a new water bottle i think it's super super cute it's just from amazon i used to carry around that like giant amazon bottle but i just didn't think it was very cute and just took a long time to film so i have this one now i can also put smoothies in here because it has like a giant straw so yeah i am gonna go to Barry's boot camp now which i've actually never been in la i'm going to meet my friends amanda and Alyssa here get a little extra motivation so i kind of want to take a little bit of extra care of my skin today i have a facial later because it's very dehydrated so i think a good sweat always helps the mask mandate is back in la so i guess we're working out with a mask which kind of sucks but it's what it is let's go I'd say the workout was like an eight. Today. It was definitely an eight. It was eight. It was like hard. It wasn't the hardest one I've ever done, but it got gave us a good sweat. Yeah. So now we're gonna go to Arrow On and grab a matcha, special matcha from Lisa. Okay. Is it really bad that I've been living here for so long and I still? Like need kind of maps to no. <laughs> I will say Erwan is right there, so that one's kind yeah. of bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, ah. The problem is because I'm always putting my maps on, I don't learn it either. Yeah. yeah. Fail. I'm gonna have a little matcha drink with the girls, and then I'm gonna go home and get ready. Oh, the shower was so good. I'm going to make a little post-workout smoothie um, because I'm pretty uh, hungry after a full workout. Lately I love to put a lot of like ice in there because then it just makes the smoothie like even more cold and it's almost like um I wouldn't say ice cream but something like that. The protein powder in here, I think I personally like protein powders we don't have a lot of flavor, especially when some protein powders have like stevia and stuff in there. I'm not a huge fan of it. In this one, the new Sass vanilla one works, but yeah, I think the Collinger ones are just my favorite. Oh my god, on the background, these are like website design <laughs> going on for Nekahama. Anyway, I am 
going to clean up some stuff in my apartment because this is almost ready pack my bag for tomorrow and then this afternoon i'm gonna drive to west hollywood to get a facial i'm wearing a little bit of makeup now but especially during quarantine when i was not in the sun i was getting a lot of melasma kind of like this dark pigment spots if you've never heard about it and i would especially have them here often it flares up when you are pregnant or when you're a lot in the sun well i was not pregnant and i was not a lot in the sun either but i did have a lot of like melasma it can also be like hormone imbalance but the weird thing is over the last few months it really went away i have been wearing so much sunscreen i have barely been outside like tanning so yeah we're gonna do some micro needling today and then hopefully if i do this consistently things will like get a little better but yeah i don't know if you can see it really i put some foundation on it but i have like dark spots here and here um but yeah gonna get a little beauty routine in also it's always nice to really keep the skin like hydrated before i get on another flight and then to set obviously so yeah mm -hmm. i think i haven't showed you or upstairs yeah starts to look like a bedroom a couple months ago we put these closets in and they made a mistake in the measurements and it was literally one inch off so we couldn't open one of the doors so we kind of had like two options option one was get new closets which was not really an option or get a new bed so they made like a bed in the same wood and it's so gorgeous i'm gonna show you this is our new platform bed and then underneath here are like drawers where i can start storing shoes and stuff but yeah and this is my giant pile of laundry which i'm going to get organized right now i hope i have any room in my closet if not i need to get rid of stuff and at the same time i will pack my suitcase for my trip even though i don't really need a lot i only need like one outfit to go to work and then one outfit the next day for travel and pajama and stuff so easy peasy let's attack this here I got most of my laundry all done so I'm just going to pack up and prep I used to always like pack so last minute but I actually really really enjoy it when I just do this a little bit further in advance so when I'm on my trip I don't really have to think about it took me a long time before I kind of started doing this but this just like helped me a lot around this anxiety feeling around like traveling a lot is literally just in the preparations so i'm going to bring this this very easy like a quick little dress and both of these are from aritzia this is like a kind of a salmon color top and then i'm just going to bring a pair of jeans and yeah i think that's about it Alrighty. so something what i always do is put shoes and stuff in these little bags i think i just got this on like amazon and this way my whole suitcase don't get dirty and everything just kind of stays a bit organized and this is another thing i can literally not travel without it is a foldable foam roller easy to put in my suitcase and this way i can like always stretch while i was like doing laundry too i was like oh my god why am i so tight up here do i feel pressure and anxiety i was like oh no it's because i did a really tough arm workout this morning oh really need to stretch well ay 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 all right there we go i'm going to pack some toiletries and then pretty much ready okay these are some of the skincare stuff what i am bringing like essentials i always make sure to bring hyaluronic acid or like a serum because this is really hydrating the skin after flying then i bring this omarovix uh, moisturizer 
is a face oil, another cleanser. When I travel to New York, I also bring the CBD gummies with melatonin and Honestly, I have tried so many different CBD gummies and it never really worked for me But Highline Wellness is the only one which I actually really like and it has a very small dose of melatonin in there So when I arrive in the evening and there's like time difference I just take one and I fall easily asleep Otherwise, I'm gonna be awake all night and I'm gonna be super tired from my shoot and then for hair I bring this Olaplex to smoothen out the ends and then this one, I think I haven't shared it with you, but this conditioner is everything. It's literally $5 from a drugstore. It's the whole blends from Garnier. Obviously I've been taking like hair supplements, but I used to have very dry ends, like very dry hair. I don't know if you remember, this is just air dry from the shower. And this conditioner has basically changed my whole hair. This is not an ad at all. This is just something I'm like really fan about. So I'm going to put it in a little travel one, travel kit, and then bring it with me as well. So this is snack slash lunch. I have some wraps, uh, spinach, feta, slow cooked egg and avocado and a little bit of salt, pepper and chili flakes. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. So I'm trying to cut out gluten for a little bit. I would normally right now probably make like an avocado toast but I had some really bad eczema flaring up on my hands and sometimes above my eye and the dermatologist actually said that that can be caused often by gluten as well so I don't know if I'm intolerant I hope so not because I freaking love bread but that's why today I use these uh, almond flour tortillas <music> I'm gonna head out. I'm just wearing this black dress from, it's an old one from the Academy, from Revolve. Just like easy and airy, relaxing. Oh my God, I can't wait to just lay down. I haven't had a facial in a very long time. So I'm kind of excited to just like, not pass out, but you know, just relax. Um, keys, glasses, and let's go. hot in my car anyway i just finished my facial and it was so good it was so so relaxing i almost fell asleep <laughs> so apparently i didn't know this but in california their estheticians are not allowed to actually use needles so we couldn't really do like a full micro needling but they would use something or something similar which they call like nano nano needling so it's way smaller needle and they still kind of do the same thing but a little less uh, intense 
So even if you have a pimple here or something, they're just not allowed to like pop it with a needle. So strange. But I guess there's all rules in all different states and whatever, which is kind of new to me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna drive back home. I was actually listening to an episode of Jay Shetty on Spotify with Giselle Bunchen. And obviously I know Giselle Bunchen is literally the most beautiful woman <laughs> on the planet but i was listening to her speaking about like mindfulness and meditation how it changed her life and i was like oh i feel inspired that's literally the only thing that i feel would love to incorporate in like routines and stuff and someone gave an example which i really loved where it was let's say athletes right like soccer players they go to fitness to the gym and it's not because that actually like strength they really need but it is within the game that that strength from the gym they're using into let's say kicking a ball or throwing a ball and i was like ah and they were making the conversation to mindfulness and meditation you need to use it as a tool so it's not like meditation is going to solve your anxiety or solve your your mental health it's more a tool that in moments which causes anxiety or which causes problems with your mental health, it's a tool you can use. And I was like, that makes total sense. So maybe, you know what, not maybe, I should just start it tomorrow. Even if it's like five minutes, it's so easy to just incorporate with my stretching. Anyway, I'm gonna drive back home. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching today's little vlog. I'm going to New York tomorrow and shoot all day, which will be a lot of fun. And yeah, then I will see you guys there again.